hello and welcome guys uh, now let's implement the same thing that we have you know implemented for MDP so we have a problem statement that we are going out uh, do we need umbrella or not okay and we have states like a rain a rainy cloudy sunny and we have action umbrella no umbrella and then we have dictionary for reward transition probability and discount factor okay so let's do the same problem statement using hidden macro model okay so create a you know new notebook and I'm naming it HMM Okay, see what happened. Yeah. Okay. So, so for that, first of all, what we need to do is we need to uh, import HMM from HMM library. Okay. So from HMM learn, port HMM. Okay. So this seems that I haven't installed the HMM learn. So let's install it. Okay. So, open your Anaconda prompt. Go to your you know desired kernel. Or you can say environment so conda active hit co2 for my guess now pip install hmm learn okay that's all you have to do now if we run it uh, we shouldn't face any error okay okay it's running so let it okay yeah i think uh, it ran successful and we are not seeing any error okay now define our states so states are rainy okay cloudy and then sunny okay now what will be the number of states it will be the length of states okay now what all observations we have uh, it will be umbrella and no umbrella okay obviously n observations will be length of observations okay which mean numbers of observations okay so this is also done so remember we had to define three pr uh, probability here start probability transition probability and emission probability right so let's define uh, all those three as well uh, it will be you know equally for all the states so obviously uh, 0 0.33 0 0.33 and 0 0.33 now transition probability okay it will be same np dot array and inside that we'll define the value that we have defined in mdp let me show you again so we have defined this value right 730 so same value we will be you know inputting here 0 0.7 0.3 0 and again the next line and in the next line okay not to be two dimensional yeah so our probability is 460 oh. again okay, last one is 0 0 Okay, zero four six. Yeah, we defined our all the transition probabilities. Okay, now we have to implement our uh, emission probability, right? So np dot array. Yeah, we are done with you know all the initializations. Now we'll create our HMM object and feed the data to it. Okay. So if you ask me, uh, what I am doing here is so basically in this part we are defining the, uh, you know, uh, all the probabilities. Uh, so first one is state probability, second one is transition probability, third one is emission probability. Uh, for hidden macro model. So what is you know 
uh, I mean the state probability and this uh, other probability so yes, uh, you know this state probability this is like a or you, uh, I have named as start probability so this is like a one di one dimensional array that represent the initial state probability in this case we have three states rainy cloudy sunny so we are assuming equal probabilities of starting in any of this state that is 0 0.33 okay now what is transition probability so this is a two dimensional array that represents the probability of transitioning from one state to another in this case we have three states and the transition probability matrix is defined uh, this way like in, like you can see so let's say if uh, we are in a rainy state there is there is uh, you know 0 0.7 probability of staying in the rainy state and 0 0.3 probability of moving to cloud state uh, you know cloudy state and there is no chance of moving to sunny state from the rainy state okay and that is what it represent three values now let's say uh, if if we were in the cloudy state there is 0 0.4 you know probability of moving to the rainy state 0 0.6 probability of staying in the cloudy state and zero and there is no chance of moving to sunny state similarly if we were in a sunny sunny state there is 0 0.4 prob probability of moving to you know cloudy state uh, 0 0.6 probability of staying in the sunny state and no chance of moving to you know rainy state okay so this is the same way i mean the way i defined here uh, that is what uh, i have you know defined here now what is emission probability so this is a two dimensional array that represents the probability of emitting an observation i mean either umbrella or no umbrella okay so giving a particular state in this case uh, we have three states uh, and the emission probability matrix is defined this way okay so if we were in suppose if we were in a rainy state there is 0 0.5 0 0.5 probability of observing uh, you know an umbrella and 0 0.5 percent uh, a probability of observing no umbrella similarly if we were in the cloudy state there is 0 0.9 percent uh, 0 0.9 probability of observing an you know umbrella and 0 0.1 probability of observing no umbrella similarly for sunny state there is 0 0.1 probability of observing an umbrella and 0 0.9 probability of observing no umbrella okay so hope this clarifies uh, i mean the definition of these three okay now let's move to the another part that is uh, creating our hmm object okay now let's name it model so hmm has uh, you know multinomial uh, hmm class and uh, in which we have to pass number of states okay so what what is number of state we have we have this one right and states okay after passing that you have to set set your you know state probability uh, trans, uh, transition probability and emission probability okay so let's set all those model dot start Okay, it will be our start probability. Then model dot uh, transit. Yeah, will be our transition probabilities. And then model dot emission. Yeah, this one will be our emission probability. Okay. Now let's generate a you know sequence of observation. Okay, so x will be np dot array will define some sequence okay, so let's say 0 comma 0 comma 1 comma 1 comma 1 and similarly 1 comma 1 comma 0 comma 0 comma 0 okay now let's predict the hidden states okay so hidden states will be model dot predict our x okay so we are having error okay it's saying a start probably probability must be sum of one okay so what we can do here is let's make one of them 34 okay now let's rerun it now we have another error that is saying uh, we have a none type okay so what we can do is i think uh, uh we are missing with you know n trials and n iter you know parameters so you have to fill it okay let's see uh, what is the error after filling it okay okay it's saying the size of each one content should be size of p okay so it should be okay here it should be two out of you know five okay let's fix it now let's print the outputs okay now we are you know uh, we are we have no errors now let's print the output what it returns okay print 
states of s okay now you can say we have uh, you can see we have sunny and rainy okay so what we have done here is in this implementation we have defined hmn parameter including the number of states observation and start probabilities transition probability and emission probabilities we then created hmm object and set its parameter uh, to our defined value and we then generated a uh, sequence of observation and use them to predict the method of smm object to predict the hidden state corresponding to the observation we have given we, finally then we have printed you know uh, the predicted hidden state and uh, we assume that the observation are binary variable representing whether or not an umbrella is uh, being used and the emission probabilities have been chosen accordingly so the output of the code is predicted hidden state uh, you know corresponding to observation sequence okay you can you can also you know try out different uh, you know observations like suppose one comma zero okay zero comma one and let's run it and you will see sunny 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 and rainy like this you can you know do multiple experiments and understand how these things work so hope you guys have understood next uh, in the next tutorial we will be looking at you know exploration exploitation so whatever study uh, uh, concept we have studied uh, in the next you know one or two or maximum three tutorial we will be completing our uh, implementation in python and then we will be moving into algorithms of reinforcement learning okay. thank you